Hello friends, how are you today? We are working on some building without some of the pack specific or uh, prestige faction parts. Uh, this build uses parts from uh, level 22 engineers and level 9 scavengers. So now I wanted to kind of play around with some of these parts and uh, talk a little bit about what uh, kind of build strategies we might take here. So let's do that. All right, so what do I have here? Well, um, if you have some weapons that are going to um, be easily shot off, sometimes what you can do is you can put them, um, you know, mounted back here and have all of this surface area for the bullets to hit in front of the guns. So it doesn't protect if people get on you from a higher angle, uh, but it does actually kind of help in some ways. So with this build, um, you know, I'm just going to take a couple of uh, couple of basic uh, sign of zeros. I, d I would really like to put some uh, mini guns on this, but all I've got right now is arbiters, and I don't really want to buy some mini guns toward this video. So you're going to get sign of zero and maybe maybe a little bit of uh, I might use some arbiters on this. So just because they're the same energy and darn near the same as a minigun, which people don't realize, but miniguns are awesome. Okay, so what do we have here? We've got two weapons here, and we've got a good field of fire. Um, we've got a couple of radiators, and that uses up all of our energy. No, you know, it's just a white cab. We're going to mess around more with. So we want to armor up the back of these a little bit, and you can do it a couple of different ways. Um, you know, these gun mounts are really strong. They are kind of high PS, but um, something like that will definitely tank a cannon shot or two. But I know that we're running low on energy, or uh, weight, and um, those are light. You know, something like, you get these Torino rears, um, something like that can really work. You could even go and attach it uh, a couple of different ways. Um, you've also got these canvas roofs here, which um, can be nice to cover up the rear. These are some other parts that you could use. And they don't look bad when you kind of um, mess around with them from the other side. So you could kind of put uh, you know, pipe guards into them. You know, there's some, some things you can do to kind of with your scavenger's parts. Um, you could also use something like these container walls, you know, if you'd rather, if you've got, well, actually container walls, higher level parts, higher level scavenger part. I mean, half wall, um, you could throw some of those out the back, um, you know, so it kind of depends on how much weight you have. Now with this build right now, um, I've got six wheels on it. Now, if I were to remove these wheels here, I'm going to have to take quite a bit of armor off of it. So... I'm just going to, no, I shouldn't have done that, that's, that's right, oh, okay. Um, so we're gonna be overweight a little bit here now. Do we really need all of this stuff? Well, probably not. Um, I'd say, we're not that far over. The difference is that if you only have four wheels, gonna have a little bit better acceleration and this does not have very good acceleration so I think lightening it up um, well actually it's over tonnage right now anyway so even if I pull these off right and it's under tonnage now and I have no armor on the rear which isn't gonna work we're gonna have to get something on it. Um, you know with four wheels you're not gonna accelerate that much but the thing people don't realize is once you get up to speed you know it's actually pretty good so with a little bit more powerful cabin, you can still use a build like this. You know, I'm just using it with a white cabin. And that is the Huntsman. Um, but, you know, let's lighten this thing up a little bit here. So we can, you know, we have a couple of those. We could probably, ooh, these big heavy fenders, I do like those. But we could lose these outer fenders. And we could... Mm. We could do something lighter up here. I do like that kind of protecting our guns in front of our guns, but maybe we could get away with. Um, maybe we could get it more in front. Yeah, I, 
I think I'm going to skip that whole thing. All right, so then we don't really need, just for this build, we don't really need all this stuff. You know, I was building a platform that you could build up from there. And then the nice thing is, is that level scavengers, you've got a couple of these terrible bars, which are really nice and strong. So we've pulled off a lot of heavy stuff. Now, what does it drive like? Okay, see, it doesn't get that much faster. As long as you're under tonnage, it pretty much is going to drive like it's going to drive. Okay. So, what are we going to do from here? Well, let's um, let's see what um, let's see what areas we want to armor up. We want to armor up our wheels. We know that. And we, we like to get our rear wheels protected. We're going to use those fenders up. These buggy trunks, they have that... Uh, damage pass through so they're a really strong place to mount these spikes and uh, you've got your ruby radar I got to put a ruby radar on there a couple of machine guns or whatever you've got mini guns doesn't really matter the, the trick is this gun mount and if it's a tall enough weapon you can go down one lower and then hide it behind the cab but with uh, basic uh, mini guns they won't work so you got to kind of armor up around them as you go and then this hardcore engine is is probably the only light blue engine that's really worth much um, it doesn't take any energy it gives you 500 more kilograms of mass limit so that's pretty nice um, I think with this combo with so six energy with the weapons so we've got either two vectors or sinus or miniguns um, two chills is gonna be really helpful and then um, we've got a radio you know and uh, remember that these things are not made to be pretty what I've done here, the reason I've stretched this this far, oh, and obviously these sharp spikes at the front that do extra damage, and they're just kind of layered behind the bumpers, so. Um, but what I'm trying to create here is, is as much span as I can. Do you see how, when I go overhead, that there's only one square on either side, and I've created this vast space under the cabin to, um, center, to, to work with. So, um, you know, that's kind of what I'm going for. And then why did I can't these wheels back and have the frame stick out well I was armoring all that up and I wanted uh, to kind of protect it you could also you know with a 400 this basically has nine, 960 durability essentially right it's a really really tough piece so but the wheels only have uh, 160 durability right and so once you lose a wheel uh, the other thing is you probably just would run six wheels in this you'd put two two more steering in the middle uh, two more actually you would put, you'd move these to here, and you do the steering wheels in the rear, right? So that would be like one platform. And then I also have to look at frames, like what frames are available at a lower level engineer and, and uh, t level 22 engineer and level nine scavenger. Um, you know, there's only certain frames available, so. Uh, and what wheels, you know, obviously racing wheels aren't my exact favorite. It would be nice to just have like four hermits or something on this. I don't know uh, kind of what you folks have, but um, definitely, definitely cool. I'm just going to check the stream here and just, uh, just make sure that <clears throat> there's no chat happening right now. And I really appreciate you all, uh, you all joining up. This is super fun. And um, if you want to see anything different, you know, please, um, please come and, and check it out and let me know. And I can, uh, I can just change up whatever you got. I don't know. Uh, I could put different wheels on it. I could use different weapons. So if there's anything that you would like, um, uh, just let me know and I can help out. I did took me a minute to get the chat up and I'm sorry about that I'm really bad about the chat sometimes and I don't mean to be uh, don't do that okay so there we go now I've got your chat here so thanks for your patience while well, we kind of got up to speed here so you can kind of see what we've done uh, you got to protect our frames with bumpers you have a couple of catches these lightweight frames are really nice. So each of these is 108 kilograms. So that's uh, 216 versus this is 432, right? So that's the same space. Now I would rather use those Lunatics 1x8 frames, but at the levels that I picked for this challenge, uh, that's what I've got. So this is kind of what you got here. Um, you know, some strong frame in front, and then 
uh, a couple of lighter frames in the back because you're not really going to run into people as hard in the back and uh, we're going to protect it with bumpers so looking to maximize our weight so what kind of cabin can we use with this well probably it's going to be a lighter or medium cabin and the reason for that is because um once you put something like a humpback on this um it, it's going to um it's going to require so many wheels in order to get its tonnage that your power score is just going to go astronomical so you know we can do this right but we have we have we're not using the perk of the cabin really because it's it's not using all the weight uh, so we'd have to have even more of these wheels or use better wheels um, so that would be another option you could use something like uh, Bigfoots but you know obviously those are super expensive but you could use Bigfoots in order to get a, a um, in order to get a humpback up to tonnage you would need essentially like 16 well each of these is What's the cost of these right now? Uh, yeah. Oh, you can't sell it with the CK, but... Uh, yeah, they're essentially 225 each, right? So, um, all right, so what do we have here? We have steering, steering. Let's, no, I have some more of those. Um, I should put my fused ones in the front. Okay. So we're not anywhere close to tonnage there. So now we throw in a couple of, uh, a couple more. And now we've got 225 a wheel. You know, we're 1,200 or more. It's just not... And we haven't even filled out our tonnage yet. So then, okay, what do I do? Put more Bigfoot wheels on there? Um, you know, so let's just see what that'll do. So I have two more steering Bigfoots. I'll have to put a little more frame on the back. And now I'm having to use heavy frames to do it, right? So it's diminishing returns. And your power score goes up every time, right? So diminishing returns here. Um, you've got some of these, more of these I uh, probably don't have any more 4x4 four four lightweights. I can't remember exactly what. So the way I was able to kind of reverse figure this out is to look at the parts that you get by level and figure out you don't get any frames with scavengers, right? It's just going to all be engineers. And, uh, oh, yeah, retrieve that. I'm just crafting some stuff to sell it. Um, so level 22... So we're not, we're looking for lightweight frames. We don't have many. We've got these six by, or eight by fours. We've got a lot of those. We've got some six by fours. And then we've got these long, these one by eights that are 240 durability. So maybe we'll, maybe we'll uh, try some of those uh, instead of these. See, now we're going to at least have to, I think with the humpback, I'm going to go really strong frame here and let the weight, let the weak light frame be farther back in the build. And then, uh, and you know, another way would even be stronger to do with this with, well, this is going to start heating a lot of tonnage up, but you could do it this way, which would be super, super strong. You don't need anything to mount anything under the floor. But what I'm going to do for this build is I'm going to use these one and then the one by eight frame. And then I've got a huge space to put stuff in and I could even, um, use the two by sixes if I want stronger ones. And now I still have my four hip, my four lightweight frames I can put way out back, right? So you could have a huge platform, and I could throw on uh, two more. Oh, I don't have. Oh, that's the that's the non-fused one. Fused one. Is this fused? Non-fused. All right, that's the fused one. Yeah, put the put the strongest, best ones up front, I think. Uh, I'm, I'm going to mess with those frame placements in, in a second here, but essentially, now, I thought I had more. Oh, they're, they're not, they don't have a CK applied to them, so, mm, I suppose we'll do the CK really quickly, because it's 
too goofy to not have it done. Okay, don't show me a CK animation, please. Thank you. Okay, one more. Okay. Okay, so now... See... That's all I want to do. Uh, storage. Wheels. Wheels. So all I'm doing here is to illustrate the point that essentially in order to get the max tonnage on a humpback, you've got to have like eight Bigfoots, you know? It's not going to, you're not going to get it with, and, and so even that, the power penalty, it's not that bad, but it's, you know, that's, that's how I'd run this build. So not going to do that. So I think that when we look at, um, when we look at builds, we want to try to find something that's going to work for our cabin and for the weapons and the power score that we're at. Also, because if you maximize out a humpback's tonnage, then the power score is going to be just insanely high, you know, like over 10,000. A lot of time, and you might not have super, super good weapons, you know, to kind of back that up. So, so what are some good wheels to use with a, uh, with a build and what cabin would be good to use? Um, you know, we looked a little bit at the Huntsman. That is the eight power. The eight power, as the Gorilla is not as good because it only has seven power. Um, this WW2, it has a little bit more tonnage, but uh, not really any better. Same power. So usually the next step people come up to is the Growl. So we'll take the Growl and we're gonna see, you know, how big we can stretch this Growl. Now with this, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna go back to that light frame arrangement because, ooh, I might leave these ones in the back. We'll see. But uh, the growl is not gonna be able to take anywhere near the tonnage of the humpback. So um, you're gonna fill out the um, you're gonna fill out the tonnage of the of the build pretty quickly with um, just some. I don't know if it's gonna work with six of these uh, racing wheels, but we'll see. Um, back just a little bit. I tried to create as much space as I could inside uh, inside the build to hide stuff, right? And then so then we've got our non-steering racing wheels here in the middle, or we'll go one forward like that. You, you, you know what? Actually, we can go all the way forward with them, because then it'll it'll be better when we get, if we lose our whole front frame. Um, so, so that, see how that does? That even with, let's see here. Ooh, you know what? Even with just four of them, it it fills out our tonnage with racing wheels. So that's nice. We don't have to run six. Maybe we'll maybe we'll try it this way first and then see how it goes. Because we're trying to keep it a little light, although we have this ridiculously heavy thing here. Um, and then you know the, another thing to do is we could create a bunch of room underneath. But for this build, we don't really need very many modules. So we're gonna go and now some people run the ta the tamer. Um, I think if you were running two radiators already and you had extra energy that you could run a tamer, but I'm not such a big on coolers. More I would I would recommend the R2 chill or the seal. Seal's pretty expensive, so I'd say just run a couple of chills to start with your growl, and um, you know don't try to buy the world at once, and then that way. You know, you're going to end up spending some money on this game, pretty much. You know, you're going to buy a pack or two, probably, um, at some point. Or at least I ended up doing it, but um, maybe more than a pack or two. But anyway, uh, the idea is to, you know, just have fun with what you got. And this little build here is going to work nice for that. So, <clears throat> see how we've got our, our two radiators there. And this cab has 11 energy, so that's nice. <clears throat> now, one thing I do when I sort is by is go by durability, another time by power score. But by durability is a good way to sort and to look for the parts that you have available. You don't have the same parts as me, but these large fenders, I'm going to stand by these as one of the best parts in the game. They are especially really good uh, in the front. And so at level 9 scavengers go and look um, you have not quite unlocked the second set of large fenders so we're just gonna go with one and 
then we're gonna we're gonna use some um, we're gonna go back to type because I know the durability of the parts roughly and I wanna um, I wanna choose so now we could try to make this like less goofy looking maybe let's see here it's the challenge is, is that making stuff look good and making stuff uh, play well is not you usually want to have more space in your builds um, than is going to be what a normal car looks like. Um, we're going to try making this short, but I think the short wheelbase is going to kind of come back to bite us a little bit. We'll see. Stacking up. We, you have a lot of these fenders. They're pretty good parts, 25, uh, 56, so they're just about one, uh, 50, you know, 50 or 2 to 1 weight, weight ratio, so that's nice. Um, you know, count how many squares we have here, so it's... It's like uh, five squares, so we might decide, you know what, hey, I'm going to move these wheels back a little bit, um, but let's see how much weight this thing is going to take. Um, <laughs> oh, hello, my friend. How are you today? Just saying hi to a friend. Good. Oh, that's great. did his beard so if you have any questions or comments or things that you want to do happy to work on that uh, get a little higher in engineers you get some of these Torino fenders um, and those could be nice just some things to kind of stick out and try to protect those wheels a little bit and um, so then we've got those big old bumpers. Um, you gotta, you know, look and see what's available for you. But I know that that level, our target level here, we can have these terrible bars across the front. Those are really nice. Also, have a train plow as an option, and that may be that is definitely a way to go if you wanted to do a train plow. The thing is, it weighs 900, right? And so. You know, you could do that, or you could even go down lower if you want to wedge, really wedge, uh, build it. Um, you could put all your, well, see, that's probably one too low. Let's see. Eh, I don't know. You could go that low. But um, you could put all your spikes out there. You don't have as many spikes as I do, but you have these four. Right? And uh, so you can kind of do that. If you want to have a little bit of wedge action. Uh, that would just it puts a lot of weight out of out over the front and kind of makes the turning a little sluggish in my opinion and it sticks way out so I think that just this build isn't really about ramming it's more about surviving a frontal attack so it's nice these are 161 durability each and um, which is uh, train plow is 416 so these are almost half a train plow each but they only weigh uh, they only weigh 324 instead of 450 what a train plow would. So, I don't know. Everybody's going to do their own thing, uh, but I do think that having the weight over the wheels more definitely helps uh, it handle a little bit better. Um, so, as far as engine goes, you know, I think that the be the best non-energy engine is the Hot Red, obviously, uh, that because that gives you the uh, reload speed for weapons, rockets, modules, turrets, and drones increase by 10%. And it gives you a thousand durability, thirteen percent captain speed, and twenty percent power. Uh, so that's nice. But the hardcore does a lot of that and is a lot cheaper. So you could get four of these for the same price. So it might be something that you could look at. And even this hot red isn't going to boost our machine gun minigun build right now, anyway. So yeah. So I just think. Uh, you know, everybody kind of does their own thing, uh, but I'm going to just throw a, a uh, one of these on there, since our target demographic may not have a, a bigger engine. So, uh, so now, how are we going to mount our guns? Um, in this case, we've got more energy, so we can go with three um, miniguns. Now, I'm going to use these Arbiters as a stand-in, just because, or you know what, I'll use Sinus Zero. Uh, I just don't, I don't want to buy... Uh, three mini guns for the stream it's two and they don't it, once you have the other one it's like the difference is really only 50 percent damage but um, the power score is gonna throw me way way off so 
Um, let's get let's get something to mount these on. And I like this. You don't want to use a lot of these gun mounts because they're high power score. Um, but you using one to attach can be just really nice. And then that you can attach your other out, outbound points on it. So and then these buggy floors, which are super super strong, 160 durability essentially when you take into account the, the damage pass through, right? And then you just kind of do that. And so then you've got you see why I started with a nice wide platform because in order to have space for you know uh, three three machine guns, you need to have some space if you want them to line up, right? And then. It's nice to have something in front of them, and you can kind of decide how you want to handle that. Um, but let's make sure we just kind of put our, our core parts on first. So we, we have our engine here. Now that's not where it's going to go. It's probably going to ride down here on the side or something. We could put it in front. Uh, it's you know then if it gets blown off, we lose 500 tonnage. So but by then these bumpers would be blown off, so it probably wouldn't matter. Um, we could kind of put it alongside here. Let's see where we're gonna let's see what kind of uh, parts we can fit onto this thing um, so let's do um, let's do a uh, oh did I put a radar I didn't put a radar on there yet you need to do that just a ruby radar I like the ruby radar it's fine it doesn't you don't need to have fancy radars all the time uh, another place you can kind of hide your radar is down here in the side the only thing they're gonna hit down here is really your uh, your radiator anyway which yeah you know it's not that big of a deal uh, if you lose a radiator by then you're probably hurting pretty bad anyway uh, so oh, another thing you can do just to, uh, to mention is if you can rather than pursuing you know scavengers all the way up at first it might be worth spending a few on lunatics and a few on nomads because they're easier to level up when they're lower level and so and you get the parts pretty fast at the beginning so even just getting one level you're gonna get some more lightweight frames um, some of these light fryer panels this is a really good bumper um, some more lightweight frames see even like three or four levels of nomads is gonna or uh, lunatics is gonna give you some good stuff and I'd say that's probably my favorite faction and then nomads you know choosing a couple levels of that you're gonna get these these uh, blade wing parts which are nice and that small plow if you were into the plow thing and then these Avia panels are nice and light these wings are nice um, so getting you know I would say going to like level 5 in, nom in nomads and then going a little higher in uh, lunatics and then I you know it doesn't really matter which of these uh, factions you like the Steppenwolves is cool for their armor and the Dawn's Children has tech and fire fire starters has some tech and some kind of cool light armor I don't know it's like red bus looking stuff so anyway uh, I digress let's find more scavenger parts uh, the mighty truck door see now this is one of the better scavenger parts it just is strong it's tough um, and it, if you kind of put it out in front of your weapons like this it's going to do a good job of soaking up some damage coming at the front side and you can make it look cool. You get some of these scavengers, you get some of these wide slopes. Those are nice. You can continue that theme across the front and kind of do a false front. Um, if you really wanted that to stay on, you know, you could um, use a container wall. Oh, uh, no, not a container wall. Quarter wall. Let's see. It was not going to work there, but I could, I could use another wide slope this way, maybe. You know, just kind of depending on how you want it to go. Uh, and then on the back, you know, we're going to want to use, look at our engineer's parts. Um, these canvas roofs are really nice. Uh, almost one to one weight to, or two to one weight to damage. And you have four of these by this level, so... You know, you, even though this may be not your favorite look, putting a bunch of these across the back. Uh, let's see here. I'm gonna go. Might just go three wide. Not that high. 
and then you know I mean it's not the prettiest thing you've ever seen but those are really good parts uh, you don't get parts as good as that later in the game and then these off-road bumpers are really strong too so you could do this on the back if you wanted or if you were a little bit tight for tonnage let's see here is that about right you could oh you could even put some you could put some spikes here if you wanted to or you could put them on the front see now we're, we're just running out of tonnage here with just our four wheels so maybe we're gonna go instead of this whole shenanigans let's go and use some of these lighter bumpers the catch doesn't matter which bumper it is so much as that it is a bumper because it has that 90% pass through so essentially that thing has 530 durability to melee hits this part's not going to survive worth anything back there but um, you know we're just trying to kind of see what's all going to come together so do we want to try to put some more wheels on this thing to make it carry more tonnage to kind of max it out no I think that when you start getting up here in this amount of armor we're starting to run about the end of what a growl cab can do um, so let's see let's see how we do it's pretty slow if I do anything it's gonna be armor up the um, armor up the guns more and this would be perfectly awesome with vectors too um, you know you should be tap firing these things you can run into stuff you're not gonna worry about it probably gonna be hard to strip a wheel off this thing let's see see you're gonna run into the bumpers and stuff first so it's you know we could work more on the look of it but let's go ahead and take this into battle and uh, we're gonna do a patrol because it's never gonna spawn in a regular battle uh, at this power score but um, you know for a little little quick build uh, 4400 now you throw some mini guns on this you know and we could we could this build would would fight above its weight uh in a lot of ways it's it's really nice so uh, let's see how long it takes to spawn the patrol let's go see how it does against the bots let's see if they shoot our guns off Tap firing Ooh, didn't want to do that how did it let me take a piece off my car right there that was so weird It doesn't let you modify your car when you're in queue. That was a strange, strange, strange glitch. All right. So, tap fire. Keep it, keep it going here. I don't even paint this thing. I usually paint it at least. I'm just going to piss those bots off and get them over here. See how long I can fire with these radiators? I mean, now it stopped right that's a long time. So it makes a big difference to have those to have those blue radiators too. I would even consider them using the blue ones. Driving backwards is good for two folks. You don't need to get surrounded with your machine guns. See all, all my all my armor's in the front, right? I don't want to have people behind me. So that is that is working good. And you know, it it's uh nothing too fancy. Okay, if we want to play 9k PS. Okay. Okay, let's see if I can make 9 9k PS. Uh so how would we make this thing 9k PS? We know that we have a growl, and we've got some scavengers levels, we've got some lunatics levels, or not lunatics, uh, engineers levels. So if I throw some crazy weapons on here, we'll throw arbiters on and see what that does. Okay, 6,300, we're almost out of, of weight. But let's let's give this a ride and see how see how that does. Even with the uh, we, could, we could put the seals in instead. Let's put this, uh, let's see without the seals and then let's see with them. 
Let's paint this thing with our new our new tranquility paint job. That's pretty cool. Alright. Patrol. See, you know, if you were making just a low PS car, then you wouldn't need to armor it up this much. You wouldn't need to make it as chunky, but I've made it really strong so that it can it can scale to about any any kind of weapon. It's also a good idea to, to break down the boxes, uh, you know, so that, or to allow room to set up a box on the top. Okay. Let's go over here and give it a shot. This is... Can we get this thing up to a higher power score? So what would we need to do to do that? We would need to put something in here crazy. We would need to do something a um, little bit, a little bit wacky. So let's go ahead and let's put, I don't think an Apollo is going to fit under here. I'm almost sure it won't, but let's see if it will. only five squares under this build, right? So, you just don't have, you need six. So what will fit there? A gas gen. Yeah, that's gonna be crazy because it's gonna blow up on me, but what the heck. All right. And another trick with the gas gen is you can let, you can rig it to fall off if it gets hit by anything. But I figure if I get hit by it, I'm pretty well toast, so. Uh, let's go ahead and do that, and then we are going to uh, we're going to go quad arbiters now. And then we're going to that's going to run us a little bit overweight, but we're going to we'll work on that in a second. And we're going to put in seals instead of the fancy radiators since he wants to play it at 9k. So let's see here. Put this. I don't really want my seal to get blown off if my gas jam gets blown off. Maybe I'll put those in the back. I think the whole thing's going to get blown off no matter what. So, uh, but let's just throw them in there and see what happens. All right. So now we need to get a little bit more weight. Um, we can do that by just getting a. a I think slightly better wheels is going to help us here. Let's see. And some rear wheels, shivs. Okay, how far over are we? Not over. There we go. See, just a little bit better wheels. Now we're at nine thousand essentially, right? So um, I think that we are ready to ready to try this this thing. Um, let's go ahead and invite Castamazilian to a group and. Uh, we will, once this battle's done, we'll see if we can't run around and cause some havoc with this. in a battle still. Okay. 
Nice. All right. So, so what else can we do to this build to kind of make it go? Um, it'd be nice to have something to Okay. So, this would be a lot lower if I was using miniguns. That'd be nice. So, can I fit anything else in here? It'd be nice to at least have something protecting our... Our settlements here. Maybe we'll... I'll go something stronger. So. That's nice. Mm. Maybe I'll just go quarter wall. At least it's too, oh, those are too heavy. Yeah, I think that we're going to call it good. Okay, I'm going to go see if I can find him in battle. Oh no, he's probably not in the patrol. He's probably in a regular battle. All right, let's try to get these get these people here. Got a little too close there, Johnson. All right. Okay, Connor. Be my bot. Just, pre just pretend they're big drones. Capcan. No, Connor. We did. Okay. Yeah, that'll tear things up pretty quick there. Oh, Westy, huh? Hi, Westy. Cans. Yeah, I shouldn't have gone around to get pushed back in there. But, oh boy. Hey, those kaiju are deadly, huh? Let's see, I'm still around. No. 
I got some good cap cans there. Alright. really tough. There's so many cap cans. So, so, so many. It's pretty, pretty uh, interesting combination there. That's why it's good to... It might be good to have a radar on this thing. Okay. Let's see. Try to run into my friends here. I do like this build. Works pretty good. Westy's on the other side. Okay. So watch out for Westy. Try to shoot the cap cans. So many cap cans. Okay, Westy. Shoot you now. Oh boy, don't, don't knock me into there. left here. Alright. Well, we're gonna go run somebody down. Oh, cap can. Hi, Westy. It's a good idea. Yeah, it's a lot of cap cans. At this point in the battle, you may never, you may never escape if you don't have any weapons. Because they keep coming back around. But I do intend to ram somebody if I can.
get the wires. Scrap metal. Scrap metal this time. Ready, buddy. Hello. <laughs> oh, chatter. Darn it. So hard to look at the chat. Yeah, okay. Now we're counting down with some scrap metal. Some serious, sweet, sweet scrap metal. Gonna do so much better with Casamazillion there to help us. Although Harry the dog is here helping too. Not bad looking build there, chunky, chunky boxy. All right, let's do it. Great, great. Uh, no, oh yeah, let's use on our side. Oh boy, that's great. Go where they drop the cap cans. Shoot them, shoot them up to it. Good looking ride there, Westy. Looking good. Real fast. Eight shifts, huh? Oh no! No! Well, there's only one left. Yeah, you gotta put Westy after all that cap cannon action. Daily challenge is done. Better battle. What challenges do we have today? Oh, oh, let's make it quick there. Okay, watch out for watch watch out for the camp can. Oh boy. Yeah, that 
that was not a great place to Boy, I'm just setting myself up for a shot there. Ooh, I lost a wheel. Oh, I lost all my guns. Oh my gosh. That was terrible. Alright, well, I'm gonna try to help my brother here. Oh no. Not the cap cans. Oh boy. Yeah, that was, uh. That was tough. Getting hit by the kaiju. Someone's being cap canned. It is, uh. brutal. That's okay. I'm gonna try it again. Well, thanks for joining Castamazillion. This is kind of fun. You could replace the guns on the top of this build with any of the other guns you wanted to. They're three energy. You could fit four of them. So, this kind of shows you what you can do with a growl. They are pretty great. I think I should follow you this time. Ooh, you've got cool lights. I'm just gonna back you up. Sorry, sorry. Ah, oh, no! That's okay. Come on, zombie lives. Thank you, zombie lives matter. You are awesome. Cast Brazilian, you still up there, buddy? I'm gonna come help you. Where'd you go? Let's see here. Oh, darn it. I got flipped. Poor timing. Oh, jeez. They got all of them in one barrage. Well, that, that, uh, that tells me we should probably armor those guns up a little bit more. Yeah. Woo! Got two kills, though. you is uh, oh. okay ooh, maybe zombie life. yeah you could get him zombie leech. favorite leech that's a cool little truck We got this one, folks. Bet it's that sniper that's left. They're looking for to one shot him with the kaiju. Where are they? They're not. 
coming. Stuck somewhere, maybe. Oh, anticlimactic. That's okay. All right. Do we? Eh, it didn't seem that bad. Okay. Let's go get him again. Get that scrap. Yeah, if anything, it's just really seeing this thing needs to maybe have some more armor up on the top. Got to move around a little bit so it's not as easy to strip. But as long as I don't expose my side profile to anybody, that was just a mistake on my part. Tactical. here and let my friends go first here. Ah! Oh boy! Got just about one shot. Let's go follow Cast of Resilient. Where are you, buddy? There we go. Yeah. That's a sweet looking ride there. Job, Cast Resilient. Got number one. Did you get MVP? I think you did. Nice. Congratulations on that. Well deserved. Definitely kind of a glass cannon if you shoot it from the sides. See how hard it is to strip from the front here. If I just kind of go in the normal fire. Well, we spawned, so we won't never know.
Laptop Pinochet is deadly with that. So. Dang it. It's nice shooting. either. be long till Sandra is stripped. <laughs> That's okay. Start playing with this power story. You're going to go against some good people with high weapons. It's what happens. Still fun though. on their side this time. No Westie or Tata. Okay, that's good. We'll go in and help our box a little bit. I'll try to help my friend here. So sad sounding, but I'll go up and run into somebody with my nine durability. Ooh, this should be crap. Get turned. Oh! That's alright. You can get him, cast Mazillion. challenges to be had. It's just patches. And Alright, we're going to do it. Remind me to follow you. A 
that thing has a ton more durability. He he actually is set up to wants to be surrounded, so he gets his 20% damage bonus on top of his world's damage bonus. So I need to kind of flank him and try to help him from the side. You're not going to win them all. It's okay. Can't win them all. See, we've all had those moments. I think I could go a little bit farther behind him. <laughs> all right, I'll say great too. Probably up my power score a little bit. I could probably run that cap. A little more tonnage. Where'd you go, buddy? Oh, no! Kind of fun, it was ridiculous. <laughs> oh, I want my radiator back. There we go. That was nice. It's okay. Be a little more careful. Nice work, buddy. So much fun to play with friends. Feel free to invite me in the game and uh, friend me and I will join you in some games sometime. You can join in, in the mission. Also hit me up on the chat. Still need a few more followers in order to be able to um, 
get the affiliate on Twitch. So it'd be super cool if you have a moment to do a, a follow. That would be super cool. But, you know, do the best you can. And uh, I'm going to keep making content. Usually Monday through Thursday. Start the stream somewhere around between 6 and 8 or so. And uh, go on for a little while here. This is going a little longer than normal, but um, we've got our friend Cassie Bazillion here as a guest, so that's super fun. So let's do it. All right. And this time I'm going to try, I know I keep saying I'm going to try to stay with them, but I'm going to do it again. So this is a, actually a, a, a place where the, these guns are going to work well because they've got a lot of gun, de got a lot of gun depression. So going up into that hill, I should be doing good. What? They got them all. Oh my goodness, that's terrible. Oh, and it took my whole frame off. It's terrible. Notice my gas gen hasn't been a problem. Uh. Yeah, I wonder where that kaiju was. Oh, thanks, buddy. Still got my radiators. Oh. Darn it. Is there a fusion with two kaijus on it? Wow. Yeah, they just, they're great. They just... Wow, that's tough to go against. Oh boy, this is exciting. <laughs> just like stuck at this moment with this bot just sitting there while this double. Oh, they, sp they split up? To cap? I think they did. I'd love to be able to watch what they're doing. They don't bother to try to find the last bot. Ah. Dance. Yeah, I did not do great. Had my weapons stripped off in the first batch. I should have made a note of what those people's names were. back and watch the stream for that one.
right, buddy. We're expecting that. Where are you? Kaishis are so hard to counter. It's pretty cool. Kaijus don't like. Yep, we'll quit you to the garage. Alright. Let's see here. Nine. Oh, I can't remember what PS it is. I think it's roughly 9,000. I should save this build before I delete it. Okay, I'll, I'll revisit that more for you folks a little bit later on another time. See what you're at there, Cass Smithsonian. Eighty-five, ninety-eight. Or are you gonna build up more? Let's see. If I can get close to there. Yeah, I think I think some drones are in order for countering these kaiju's. Ooh, this Yaguai. I wonder what this uh, power score is at. No, it's super low. Okay, so. Think Grenadier. I'll assemble that. Okay. Okay, eighty five hundred. And I've got nine thousand twenty five. What's on this thing? Fun, fun strip in that, buddy. Smash your knee, too. Smash your lots. Yeah, 
Yeah, he's armoring up a little bit. Okay, good. Nothing to strip off, buddies. That's it there. Well, that's going to be cool looking. Yeah, I like this build. I made it for drawing challenges, and it's pretty, pretty tough. Yes, getting the wires. All right, nice job. So where'd you land there? 9,047, that's a cool looking build. I figured that it'd be hard for the Kaiju players to counter drones. They just got that one big cannon. Especially if I'm running into it. That's what I figure anyway. Just take off whole big chunks of them that are running into them. shot a lot.
scary. The dog is so funny. He's just laying here, stretching out, stretching out on the bed. He's a nice little dog. Doing really good. Took him for a pretty big walk today. It was fun. It's sunny out here at the ocean. Excited for this weekend. We're gonna have autocross. I'm volunteering at Avance Autocross. So that's gonna be fun. Gonna run part of the day and drive part of the day. And I am looking forward to that. I got new tires recently, so that was really cool. Alright. Fire! <laughs> that's funny. Alright. That way? Oh, we're gonna go this way, probably, huh? Probably wanna go this way. There's some cyclones. Cast Mazillion. All right, I'm going to run into you. Yes, that was very good. Okay, the same kaiju teams you're getting before, though. Try this combo for a little while though. Cast Mazillion doing fire. It's nice. Okay, you can change your wheels. Where are you, folks? Uh -oh.
interesting triple auto cannon build. I like spiders. Dusk. Let's go back here to the garage. Said something about wanting to switch up some wheels. And yeah. This is fun. Hmm. It's already 10.30, shoot. Streaming kind of late, but started having fun, so kept streaming. <laughs> Hope you folks had a good time watching the stream. If you get a chance to hit me with a follow, I'd appreciate it. I need uh, some more in order to get to be an affiliate where they save my videos. Um, they don't give you any money for that. You just get your video saved, which is totally fine with me. I just, uh, that's just one of the goals I set for myself. And I think it's going to be fun. This thing hits like crazy. I should try smashing into people more. What do you think? Are you ready? Okay. Get the wires. Harry the dog just woke up from his nap and he's got his little chewy, he's licking it. He's kind of sleepy. He's a pretty cute little dog. Well, cute for an 80 pound dog. <laughs> I carry him around a lot. He's got bad back legs, so. Yeah, that's gonna hit. That's gonna hit. Good. Ring the bell there. Hi, Harry. Let's see what Kessler is to do his wheels. I have to do a drive-by. a radar. I'm going to go up there and knock that kaiju off his post here. I don't care if my drones are ready yet. i got the power to do it. Into the acid lake with you. Ha 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 ha. 
Where'd you go, Gaston? Oh, no, not, not, you're not getting hurt, are you? Let me go help you. Ah, oh, darn it. Sorry, I didn't see you in time. He's busy knocking the kaiju in the acid lake. Hope you get to see that. Track off. Oh, bro, we don't like that. I'm not gonna stay here. You're not gonna shoot, you're gonna shoot, you're shoot yourself. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Good job, buddy. a good combo see you could complain oh hey you know I keep getting stripped by kaijus or you could go ram them at full speed into the acid lake it's your choice but they can't shoot y'all and it's really hard for them to shoot down little drones running around everywhere So, there's a counter for everything in this game. Waiting, 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 waiting to spawn. So much more fun to play with a friend. Where are you, people? Lesson last time, I guess. Oh, I, I trying to, sorry, Jamie. Trying to strip me, but it didn't work. Shoot at my friend. Zillion. You're not going to shoot me apart so easily, are you? Sorry, buddy. What? Oh, our base is captured. Shoot. Oh! That's nice. You know, people get angry about stuff like that, but I'm just not paying attention. 
just having so much fun shredding people up, running into them. Build there, Castle Mazillion. I like it. Hey, now. So, drone, drone builds are for, though, smashing people. Blow me up, but I still broke your lines. Messed up your, messed up your range, people. I'll win this one. Kick ass music. There we go. Oh, that's looking real good. I like the double herbits in front. I didn't think of that. Lid. We got holograms. Looks like your friend has a cap can. That's nice. You probably noticed that. It's okay. Now how do we do? Oh, you got... You got Rhino, buddy. Pretty much. Did not do that well. But... It caused them some grief behind the lines. under me there, drones. Dang it. Grr, I've never been stuck on my own drones before. This is ridiculous. Now I know how everyone else feels. Alright. that is, but I'm going for the cat. Actually, I'm going to stay back and protect my team. Where are they? Oh, there you are. Oh, <laughs> there they are. That's okay. 
still fun. I kind of want to get a cap. I kind of want to get a cap cap. It's so so expensive though. It's ridiculous. That'd be worth tying your account to Steam just so you could buy that pack again. I stole my I sold my cap can. In pursuit of my porcupine. I don't know. It's the best move, but. Driving around. It's fine. Yeah. Follow me to the fire. Go ahead. There's not that many guns to blow off, are there? Not that much stuff to blow off, huh? Yeah, I'm trying. That, did ya? No. Oh, come on now. Stupid drones. I'm gonna go back with you. You got some drones with your name on it. sit there and snipe if you're on fire and there's drones all around you. Nice work. Oh, it's getting late. Alright, we're going to probably have to play just a couple more rounds here. for you, buddy. Yeah, you don't like those, do you? Ugh, I hate those things. Alright, well, still got a kill. Annihilator drones. Pretty tough. She got some machine guns. apart from range. Oh, 
Okay, folks, I think, what, we're gonna do one more? Okay. Let's see if we can't get some good kills this time. fast when you hit the, the thing I like about this cabin it has more power than just about any cabin in the game when it has three drones launched. Look at that. Just drift like crazy. It's a real tough build too. So hard to shoot the drones off. It's good. Alright, let's try it. Pretend my bots are actual bots of other bots. Well, apparently I got my kaiju players upset. Now I'm going to track you down, buddy. I don't care about you. Just care about you. about it either. But I am going to bother you now. Oh, darn it. That's okay. Yes, you got it. Nice job. Ten fifty-seven. Yep, eleven o'clock. I'm in a pumpkin here. This has been really fun. Oh, he's not ready. Okay, we're gonna cancel. All right. Okay. Okay. Night, buddy. 
All right. So we're going to take our car that we made earlier in the stream. We're going to assemble that, and we're going to take that on a test drive. And just get a shot of it for our stream. And you know, Growl is one of the few cabs that actually sounds good too. Some of them don't sound so great. Let's see here. That's kind of nice. Let's see. Maybe I want to. Let's try turning it. All right, folks. It's been fun. Please, uh, please um, give me a follow if you can. Okay. Thanks. Bye bye.